everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting topic to talk about and that is for all of my Honda people out there. This video is how to make your Honda better. So we have a couple of things to talk about on how to go about this, so let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. First and foremost, why would you want to make a Honda better? And that's actually because they are very capable of becoming a very good sports car. People may wonder why that is, and it's because of the weight and the way that they're structured. So they are very, very light cars. And so if you put the right mods on them, they can become very capable track cars and even very good street cars as well. So let's get right into it. The first thing I would say that you should change to your Honda to make it better is definitely some interior stuff. This is the cheapest stuff you can do by far, and it's not that hard to uh, change out. So this includes your steering wheel, a short shifter, uh, maybe some pedals or something like that. That could work really well. So as you can see on my car, the first thing that I've done to make the interior better is I've replaced the steering wheel. And that's, just be and that's just because I wanted a smaller diameter steering wheel, so I put on a 350 millimeter steering wheel here from Personal, and it just allows me to have a little bit more grip. The outer rim isn't so thin as it is on the stock one, and it just allows you to feel a little bit more with the car and be a little bit more direct with your inputs. As well as I've put some different pedals on here, it just allows me to have a little bit more grip when doing some footwork. And as you can see right here, we just have a nice seat as well, and that's just for when you're going through corners it helps hold you in a little bit more so you're not you know flying around all over the place like you are in a stock seat now the next thing I've changed is the short shifter as you can see me shifting right now and this is one of my favorite things that I think you can do to a Honda if you get a nice one I would not say one of the eBay ones is gonna work very well but if you do get a nice one a proper true short shifter it is so good for example it is so so notchy I love the short shifter that I have now this one is a single bend skunk 2 short shifter uh, I don't remember where I got it I think I got it from K series parts or something of that nature um, but it is a fantastic fantastic product highly recommend it and this is 100% if you have an older Honda, this is gonna make your Honda feel better for sure. If you have a newer one, I would actually go as far to say as the newer Hondas have some of the best H shifters in the entire manufacturing of cars. So it's probably something that you may not need to change, but if you wanna look for improvements, maybe watch some reviews or videos about it and hopefully they're better. So I would say the next thing that you can do to make your Honda better is to change the suspension stuff. So if you haven't changed this stuff before, 100%, I would recommend putting your Honda on a set of nice coilovers and getting a nice set of wheels and tires. 100%, do not cheap out on coilovers and tires. These are the most important part of your car because if you logically think about it, this is what is touching the ground. So this is what is communicating the chassis, what I'm sitting in, with the ground. The tires are the only thing on your car that should be touching the ground. So it's one of the most important things you can replace on your car. And it is so, so, so important to make sure that you do not cheap out on your tires because they are such a determining factor in how good your car handles. So be sure to get a nice set of tires. Now luckily, Civics are quite cheap cars when it comes to parts. So the tires that you can get are usually a lot cheaper because the tires are very small. They're not that big. For reference, I have 195s on this car. I believe they're a 55 sidewall and they're 15 inches. Um, I don't remember how much I got them for, but I think they're hand-cooked Ventus V2s. They've been very good, but I will say there is a little bit of a lack in mid-corner grip. It does tend to slide a little bit, but for a relatively not that expensive tire, they have been very, very good. Do not buy a set of $200 coilovers. I will say that right now. You are gonna be bouncing all over the place, and it's 
it's gonna feel absolutely horrible. It'll probably feel worse than the stock suspension. Now, if you just drive your car around at like 30 miles an hour, you have no intentions of driving it sporty whatsoever, then yeah, sure, go for it. It doesn't really matter all that much. But if you plan on actually driving your car at a performance level, don't buy one of those sets of coilovers. Because when it comes to driving on the track, if that's your type of thing and whatnot, when you're gonna realize very shortly that when you start to hit and strike curbs and just the load that gets put on the car through the corners, it's gonna bounce a lot, it's gonna feel very unstable and you're not gonna have a lot of adjustment when it comes to changing those things. So it's not gonna feel very good. Now the last thing I would say, if you wanna make your Honda better, is to do an engine swap. This may sound like a very difficult thing to do, but it actually isn't because one of the greatest things about Hondas and why people love them so much is that all of the Hondas have interchangeable parts with each other. So it's very easy to swap between parts. So all you need to do is a little bit of research and somebody else out there has probably done what you're trying to do. And that way you can put disc brakes on your car and things like that. You can stop a little bit better. But the same also goes for a lot of the engine parts as well. That's why you see so many Hondas with different types of engine configurations and things of that nature is because the parts are very easily interchangeable. So you're able to make some really cool combinations. And the best thing about it is for the most part, if you do it right, they're all very reliable and they work very well. So lastly, I would say the, the final thing you should do if you want to improve your Honda is just Look at other people's cars, see what they've done, try and take some inspiration from their builds. And I think it's really cool. One of my favorite things to do is take a look at race cars, see what other people have done with their Honda race cars and see if you can replicate that because you'll actually learn a lot by doing that. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned a few things here and there. If you have anything that you would recommend for anybody else, please be sure to let me know in the comments below as I read all the comments. And yeah, it's just a cool thing to uh, see what you guys have done to your cars. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.